Well, here we go again. It's uh, Monday morning, first thing. Got the van all loaded up. And uh, time to drive down to Easy. Got a door in the back there to put on. And here I got two eaves to put over the sliding glass doors and some other stuff. I just brought a few tools. Meaning at the very end of my logistic train being down there. So it makes sense to bring it. Anyways, bright sunny day, so hopefully we'll have a nice drive. And once again, we're here. Made it. Oh, this place looks quite a bit different. <laughs> I guess in the summertime it kind of gets overgrown. I think the gardener's coming next week, but uh, wow, yeah, needs a haircut. Temporary door that I built in the spring. Looks like it's still here all in one piece. I know the client hasn't been here in a while, but the sheer number of dead bugs here is just, I guess they haven't been here in quite a long time. But well, I got the truck unloaded. Just gonna give you a quick overview of what's going on here. I'm putting these two awning things. They're gonna go across here, that door, and across there on that door. Uh, gotta figure out a couple things with that yet, but that's what we're gonna do. And uh, then in here, that's the awning things there. This is the new door frame. And then in here, this is the new door. Finally got a new door. God, it took forever. You can see it's a little bit different size than the old door. So that means I have to cut the concrete on the inside and the outside. And that's extremely dusty and messy. So I've got these poles and I got to get some more blue tarp. And I'm going to basically tarp this area off to enclose it. But by doing that, I won't have access to this area where I normally put my tools. So what I've done is I've put my tools in here. I moved, this is like their bar room and I moved everything out of the way. And so what I'll do is when I'm done, I'll close these doors and lock them. And then I can go through there and go out around. I've blue sheeted the floor and everything over there. And everything's covered up so it won't get dusty. When I'm actually doing the cutting, I'll close these doors so no dust gets in here either. And then this is just a sunshade because, boy, I tell you, today, this afternoon, as I was unloading my truck and putting everything here, I was just getting cooked. I'm sure I got a sunburn. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, 4 Five o'clock? I can't remember. I looked. I need. A, I need to buy a watch, but uh, I need to go to the hardware store and get a few extra things and uh, call it a day because I was up bright and early this morning. It took almost it took five and a half hours to get down here. It usually takes about three and a bit, but today the traffic was unbelievable. Uh, at one point, Google Maps actually took me off the expressway and put me onto regular surface roads, regular roads to get around the traffic jam on the expressway. That's how bad it was. So I just seem to always get lucky when I come down here. The client tells me, yeah, it takes three hours to get down. I don't think I've ever gotten down here in that amount of time. It always takes longer. And he doesn't drive fast. It's just I happen to always get lucky with the traffic. So uh, yeah, we're going to start cutting this wall tomorrow and get rid of this door. I just don't see the point in tearing this door off tonight. I'm going to spend as much time putting in something temporary so uh, I'm going to lock this door for the last time tonight. And then tomorrow, this is all coming out. We'll have a new door in here. Does this look familiar? It should be because it's exactly the same room I had the first time I came here. Um, huge rooms. Uh, I, this is about, I can't remember. I don't know. It's about a hundred bucks a night, I guess. Something like that. And uh, it's a pretty big room. I mean, the toilet and the bathroom, the bathtub room is not huge you know not gonna be having any nothing but a shower but the toilet's okay nothing wrong with that but uh yeah nice big room two beds a fridge now this is different there used to be an electric stove here now they've got this ih thing here and the really funny thing <laughs> is there's just a piece of plywood sitting on here. <laughs> Whatever, I guess it works. I guess the unit broke and they just brought this one in. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. I brought my own gas Bombay and I'll be using, when I do cook, I'll be using that gas stove down there anyways, because I like cooking on gas. I really don't like these electric ones. Got a microwave and a fridge. Freezer works. Yeah. And I got the doors open right now and let some fresh air in. You can hear the cicadas out there making a heck of a noise. Just, uh, yeah, pretty nice little room. For the money and for the location, it's just wonderful. <clears throat> Anyways, that's day one of the uh, September vlog down in Izu here. I'm gonna be putting the door in and some other stuff, like I said before, I just wanted to reach out and say to everybody, hey, and uh, special nod and say hello to my brother. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're feeling better. And uh, everybody else out there, hi, mom. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, take care. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.